Summer 2013 Paper 2 Calculator Curved surface area of a cylinder is 2 pi r h so in this case that will be 2 times pi times 3 times 7.2 which is 135.71 Curved surface area of a comb, we can get that from the formula sheet and it's pi r l, where l is the slant height of the comb. So this time we're going to want pi times 3 times 4.2, 39.584. The solid is formed, so it's solid, that means that it's going to have a base circle. And that's pi r squared, so that will be pi times 3 squared, which is 28.27. So the total is 203.56. So that's 203.6 centimetres squared for area. Tan of 0 is 0. Tan of 90, when we calculate that or put that into their calculator, we get an error message. And that's because we have an asthmatote here. The tan of 90 does not exist. Similarly, the tan of 270 does not exist. Tan of 30. It's not 0.577. Tan of 60, 1.73. We have a curve that, as it gets closer and closer to 90, gets larger and larger. This repeats itself again. B, we're asked to solve tan of x plus 4 equals 0. Rearranging that equation, that is when the tan of x equals minus 4. So if we draw a line across minus 4, we are looking at all the places where they intersect. So that would be where x equals... The each square is 30 degrees, so the next one along will be 120 degrees. And that is approximately halfway between, so 105 degrees. If we add on then 15, that's 285 degrees. I'm going to start by simplifying the first bracket. So I have n over n plus 1 times n over n plus 2. Multiplying the numerators, I get n squared. And the denominators, I get n plus 1 upon n plus 2. If I then take the second bracket, n over n plus 1 minus n over n plus 2. We can only add fractions if we have a common denominator and we get that by multiplying the two denominators. In the first fraction, I've multiplied the denominator by n plus 2, so the numerator must also be multiplied by n plus 2. And on the second bracket, I've multiplied the denominator by n plus 1, so the numerator must be multiplied by n plus 1. Expanding the top line, n squared plus 2n minus n squared minus n and whenever we gather together like terms I have n squared minus n squared so that's no n squared 2n minus n leaves with n all over n plus 1 upon n plus 2. Now I need to bring together the two fractions and divide and um, to divide we change the division to a multiplication and write the reciprocal 
So we invert the fraction. m plus 1 cancels with m plus 1. m plus 2 cancels with m plus 2. And n goes into n squared once, leaving me with n.